Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube tutorials and uh, in this video we'll talk about react so um, I'll start uh, making react applications from this video this is my first uh, react app application video so we'll start from scratch again I have already introduced react in my introduction video if you have seen that so we'll start creating application we will learn the fundamentals of react then we'll create some UI components as well so uh, you might be knowing that we have to use this create react app command and then we can give it uh, an app name let's say i'm giving it react demo for the time being and then i'll just create enter and uh, make sure you have uh, npm and all that's already uh, installed and then uh, it will take few seconds for you to um, to actually create this application and once it is created then uh, we will go to this particular location so i'll go to cd react demo okay and now if i'll click ls then i can see all the files which is available and now i'll use code space dot so that it can open this project in visual studio code and this is my visual studio code i'll just zoom it a little bit then you can see we have public folder source folder which have something so uh, what I'll do I'll open my terminal again and I can run from here um, you can use either npm start or yarn start whatever you want so I am just uh, writing npm start it will start the development server and let's say I'm just deleting this part and uh, it will take few seconds to start the development server so it is started so this is the URL or this one so if I, we will go to this URL then we will see that uh, this is the uh, react application which we get by default so I'll try to change that and we'll try to do other things as well let me just yeah this is fine so um, I'm just closing it as for the time being and what I'll do I'll uh, close this as well so we have this source folder where we have this index.js where few things are happening okay and then uh, we have app.js and all that so um we don't want any of them so what i'll do uh, we will select all these files or maybe we can delete the source folder so let's delete it and now we have just the public folder we have we have index.html which uh, have this div element which has the id root so you just have to remember that and uh, uh, what else what else we have this normal html file then we have manifest.json where we have uh, this uh, short name name icons and all those properties which we can ignore again and then in the package.json you can see that uh, the dependencies which are uh, with this particular project is react react dom and react scripts and then the scripts we can use is start to start this over then build for build the project so that we can get the um, development uh, oh sorry production uh, application then we have test eject we'll talk about them later and uh, then it's not uh, even necessary now to cover node med modules because it's something which we get by default and uh, you can leave it like this so what we'll do we will just create a source folder now okay and which was already it was available but we deleted and inside that what i'll do i'll just uh, make an index.js class okay and maybe you can use jsx whatever you want to use so in the index.js what i'll do i'll uh, first of all i have to um, import okay react so you can import react from react something like this and I'll also um, tell you about the snippets which you can use so okay sorry so I didn't use this okay and uh, so I have some uh, uh, extensions which I'll tell, let you know in the future videos which will give you the size of this particular library as well as uh, the snippet to use it like I could write just M I M R or and then I'll press tab and it will uh, write the same code for me so it's almost the same then I'll import um, react dom okay from react dom 
ओके और आई कुड राइट आई एम आर टी रिएक्ट ऑन सो इट्स इट्स डॉन शुड बी कैपिटल सो दिस इज वॉट वी नीड ओके एंड देन वट वी कैन डू वी हैव दिस प्रॉपर्टी कॉल्ड रिएक्ट डॉम डॉट रेंडर एंड देन वी विल स्पेसिफाई दैट वट वी वॉन्ट टू रेंडर हेयर सो लेट्स से आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू रेंडर राइट नाउ एन एच वन टैग विद हेलो इन साइड दिस ओके एंड देन वी विल tell it that where you want to render it so okay we can say that uh, get element by id and before that we have to write what document right so document dot get element by id and then inside that id we can specify the id which is root so if it will go back to the public folder and in, inside index dot html we can say in the we can see in the body we have this div uh, tag and inside that we have just this id root so that's what uh, we are trying to fetch here so root and uh, right now it 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 will look like that this is an html component or html tag but it's not exactly so we'll talk about it so what i'll do i'll uh, run this particular thing again so what i'll do i'll write npm start again okay and then it will start uh, the server for me again then i'll just try to refresh it and then we will see we have just this hello okay this does not look good for sure so this is the hello which i am rendering and uh, this looks like that this is html but it's not so why i'm saying that because uh, react the things are little bit different okay it will look like um, an html element then uh, it will be having some kind of javascript as well some styling as well and you will be confused with that but uh, don't have to get confused we'll see everything in detail so now what i want rather than doing this i'll make another uh, maybe file here in the source let's say app.js where i'll uh, do anything i want to do so i am uh, using this snippets right now but uh, maybe you can yeah uh, maybe you can do anything else so i'll take a const uh, a constant um, let's say we are using something called let's say const app okay and then i can use something like this and then we can render elements here so these are um the so, so rather than using components you can use something like this so we can use so these are a, a different kind of functions you can say so we are using these operators so um what i'll do then i'll export this so export default app and what it will do the it will do the same thing which uh, we could we could do by extending uh, a component so I, i'll uh, talk more about it and then in this part what i can do i can return normal uh, let's say h1 h1 Okay, what's happening? I can return h1 and hello. So this is the same thing. Now, rather than um, rather than uh, using this particular hello uh, right here, what I can do, I can import the app. Okay, so app from app dot js. So what I have to do, I have to write app. Okay, so where it is dot slash app dot js which works fine and rather than this i'll just replace it with an app tag okay or maybe i can write something like this and uh, let's remove this and now if i'll go back then you you can see that i don't even have to refresh it because uh, by default it will show me the same thing so now let's do, go here and change it to hello world then uh, if i'll just save it and go back then you can see it already it automatically refreshes it to hello world so this is how you can use uh, so this uh, particular way of writing uh, the functions will uh, you can use it if you have uh, let's say if you have only static data and you want to just show some 
um, some of uh, these uh, UI elements then it's particularly fine but uh, when when the situation gets little bit complicated when you have to introduce states and all that then we'll see that how we can use classes so right now this is what we can use and then we have something called react hooks as well which um, this kind of very popular these days so we'll talk about that as well so right now what we are doing we have this uh, app function where we are just returning this particular thing which is h1 hello world okay so this is not html let me just tell you again the same thing so what it is it is jsx so um you can say that uh, so so let's see what is jsx so go to your browser and write jsx so what will happen it will most probably open the um react uh, website link on the first uh, page and the first one first link would be of react so if you'll go here then we'll tr try to read what it actually says and then now uh, we'll try also my net is a little bit slow right now so so let's wait a little bit and then we'll see what's uh, what's there so you if you'll see here then this is saying that const element is equal to this 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 and now if you see that uh, this is not html not a string anything else so it is called jsx which is a syntax extension to javascript so this is what we use so now let's go back and uh, let's try to remove this from here and we can make a constant let's say hello and we can assign it like this so like how you use javascript and now this is the mixture of javascript as well as the html and then we could use something like this and now if i'll save it then you'll see that it again it returns the same result okay but what you cannot do here is let's say um you have one h2 and one uh, h1 tag let's say i have something like this h2 okay hi mm, react and then i cannot just use h1 here okay and i cannot say hello world because this is not allowed you cannot use anything like this i if you are even using the brackets then also it will not work because it can have only one single element and uh, if, if you can see there are a lot of errors already so what we could do we could use a div tag here okay so something like this and then uh, we can just wrap these things inside this div tag and now if i'll just uh, uh, press command s or control s then it will for uh, format it for me and then maybe i could use uh, this hello so how i can use this hello now i cannot use something like this this will not work so let's say if i want to try like this so you can see hi react then i have this hello so it's it's just printing as a text but i want to print it this as a jsx element so if you want to introduce um, these kind of variables then you can use the curly braces and then you can write hello and now if i'll go back then you can see hi react hello world so this is how uh, we actually perform stuff with react and uh, now uh, we will move to more things like uh, we will see that uh, how to make uis with with this particular thing then we will see that uh, what are components and uh, everything so uh, I'll, I'll cover those things in probably next video so i hope you enjoyed this if you did then press the like button also subscribe the channel for more tutorials on this so this will be a series so don't worry about it it can take some time but uh, it will be completed uh, very soon so thank you so much for watching and keep learning